Hey guys, I've calmed down a little bit. Basically, in my opinion, Magic the Gathering YouTube content creators should stay out of politics, political issues, unless they have studied it and are volunteered or worked in that field. So immigration is an issue that I know very well. And the reason I know it is the only, if I didn't understand immigration, okay, let me go back. I was born in Shanghai in 1987. My father was a university student at the University of Akron, Ohio. And in 1989, Tiananmen Square happened. So right after that, George W. Bush, or George Bush Sr., who I have a very, he's my favorite president because he did change my life. So when people say that a president can't change your life for the better, that's not true. He went ahead and did an executive action, which then became an act, which was signed in 1992. Now, this act is very interesting because it was pushed by a Democrat, Nancy Pelosi. Yes, that Democrat that AOC is attacking all the time. I'm a huge fan of Nancy's. And I'm, you know, I follow what her arguments are. I follow her. And I'm a, I guess I'm just a big fan. And a Republican senator. So Nancy was in the House. I forget his name. And I'm totally blanking. The whole, I'm kind of seeing red right now. I didn't even know that was real until I read the Mana Source's tweets about concentration camps. And yeah, it's nice. But if you think that an injustice is being done, then do something about it. Don't tweet about it. Do something about it. Physically fly your ass down to Texas. I'll put you up. And let's work on this project together. I'll fund it. Now, I've always wanted to be a lawyer because of the history. And my parents became got green cards. They became U.S. citizens. I became a U.S. citizen. And my sister was born in America. Without George W. Bush or Nancy Pelosi, that wouldn't have happened. That would not have happened. Clearly, after a bunch of students were shot at Tiananmen Square, the, there is a danger that these students at university, which are their friends, their relatives, their family, the same age as they, they are, that if they came from the U.S. back to China at the time, bad things would happen, either imprisonment or beatings or who knows what would happen because... Definitely, they're not going to roll out the welcome mat, right, and clap their hands. Yeah, university students from the U.S., congrats. No, no, no. <laughs> it became very obvious probably to George Sr., George Bush Sr., and Nancy Pelosi that sending the U.S. students back was not a good concept. So 54,000 people got green cards, and I assume a lot of them became U.S. citizens afterwards. To see the mana source make a very uneducated argument that I assume that he got off a tweet it just makes me mad. Uh, it makes me mad because I put a lot of work into the community of Humble. If you watch my other channel, you'll know that. When I first came to Houston, my dad was all already volunteering. Uh, in immigration, uh, he would give up a weekend once a month to help immigrants. And these were not wealthy immigrants. These were people who couldn't afford an attorney. And they got a really good one. And my dad, a really, really good one. And when I first moved here, I had two weeks. I had two weeks to before I started my new job that I was going to enjoy myself in Houston and have a good time. I ended up volunteering at the same clinic. I don't know if it was a clinic or what organization it was, 
but I really did enjoy it. And I still volunteer, volunteer today. I give as much as I can. Um, I give as much sweat and equity as I can. When I was in law school, my first year of law school, I volunteered with a group. And out of that group, there was a person who was a 2L, which is basically a sophomore. And she opened her own law firm. And she's physically helping people who have been detained. She's buying plane tickets for them. She's helping them re-talk to their family again. She bought a phone for them. She has a GoFundMe. It recently raised over $1,000, mostly family and friend, friends. If you want, I would be happy to give you that GoFundMe, and I would urge you to donate. She does probably doesn't want me to say that to you, but I'm going to say it. I'll put it out there. If you truly want to, you hit me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and I will send you the link to the GoFundMe because they don't have anything. They've been detained for a long time. I need to read the GoFundMe. I think it's like six months or some insane amount of time. Maybe six weeks. I don't know. I just know that it, they needed to raise $1,000. They raised $1,000. <laughs> I mean, imagine this. Imagine a dude raising $100,000 for an injury he inflicted on himself when his doctor told him not to. For the fans. For the community. Let me just draw a line in the sand. I'm not going to take any of this BS anymore. I'm not going to take any BS from the Mana Source anymore, Tolarian. Like, a lot of things they have done, you might think I'm very, very mean to them, but Honestly, I've been nice to them because the man of source, for whatever he says he is, he's a white, straight male. I guess the terminology would be a white, cis, binary male. He did not have to struggle like I struggled when I was young. And boy, did I struggle. Boy, did my family struggle. And we lived the American dream. Because of George Bush Sr., because of my dad's and my mom's hard work, and because of Nancy Pelosi, I have seen the best in government, and I do trust it. Now, do I like everything, every president? No, but I recognize that my pre the president is my president, my president. Even if I didn't vote for him or her, that's still my president, just like the mayor is my mayor. And even if I didn't vote for him, it's a him in Houston, so don't criticize me. Him or her, I guess. It's still my mayor, and I would hope my mayor would do whatever is in the best interest of my city and in my nation. And that's not easy to do, because there's a lot of interest. Basically, I can tell you government does work, immigration does work, but it costs there's a price. Civil rights, there was a price. And the price was heavy. There's always a price to pay when you want to move something, when you want to change something. People don't like chains, or some people don't like chains. And the only way you can change something in all the horrific events in history is if you take action and you say, this is not right. I'm going to misquote the Bible verse, but all it takes for evil to win is for good men to do nothing except tweet and talk about how awesome they are. And that's the crux of what I'm saying. You guys don't know how many things I've, how, how many ammos I've fostered. You don't know how many people I've let in my home, total strangers, and a lot of things went missing because I don't talk too much about that. I do mention it sometimes. You have no idea how many hours I volunteer at immigration. You have no idea that I was at a blanking detention facility, which is a jail pretty much, while all my other classmates were studying for the bar and I still beat them all. I still passed it. I, I took the New York one. <laughs> my friend who studied, I'm not going to make fun of him, but he studied a ton and he's failed. And it's like, dude, you were at the jail the whole time. And yeah, I was at the jail. I just listened to um, 
books on tape, um, the books on ch- tape or whatever on my uh, ride, the uh, we were volunteered at a place called Care. I'm pretty sure it's spelled C A I R. In my first year, we volunteered to rebuild homes in very poor areas that were affected by Hurricane Katrina. All my other blanking classmates were studying for their first year exams, which are important because that's your GPA because it's the first year. I don't give a blank about that. Like on my other channel, I literally tell you I don't give two blanks about money. Money comes and goes, right? I can live without money because I grew up poor. But nothing makes me matter than when someone is trying to take your struggle, your pain, your sweat, your tears, your blood, and use it for their likes. Mm. Nothing can make me angrier than what the mana source is currently doing right now. He's taking everyone's hard work, like my friend Laura's hard work, she opened an immigration law firm. She doesn't make that much. She could easily make partner by now from a huge law firm. But she has decided, very, very smart. I mean, if you saw a picture of Laura, you would be like, wow, this person is smart, a beautiful soul, and everything. She could have a million dollars a year uh, being a really great attorney. But she has chosen to fight. For people who need it. <laughs> I used to post the videos of my channel when I lived in San Francisco where I would order. So whenever I would go to a nice restaurant, which in San Francisco was very often, I would order the same dish to take home. So if I ate pork chops at a really nice restaurant, I would order pork chops to go. And then I would pay for that, obviously. And then I would take it to a homeless person and then, you know, eat with him well I guess watch him eat so he could have a good meal he could be treated like a human being I posted them on my line channel all, not my line my new law student channel all the time and I believe I have a few on this channel I'm not sure and then people criticized me for it and they said oh you're only doing this for PR you're only doing and then I said you know what F you guys I still did it for months after, I just never posted the videos anymore. My co-workers all saw it. Um, we would go to team dinners together, and that's what I would do. I would always pay on my card, not the company card. Because if you pay on a company card, it doesn't count, in my opinion. There is a lot of good out there. But there's also a lot of bad pretending to be good. And it really upsets me because so in the animal shelter you have a lot of people who supposedly love pets but every animal shelter in houston bark uh, animal humane society it's full to the brim of dogs and cats who will be put down honestly i'm not going to make light of this they're going to be put down and for all the people who say they love pit bulls like the manosaurus and uh, it's amazing and I've never seen someone like the Manosaurus adopt a dog. I've never seen someone like the Manosaurus volunteer at an animal shelter or an immigration facility or a detention facility. I've never seen someone like the man. When I was in middle school and in high school, I volunteered at a retirement home called Sunset Retirement Home. It was like right next to Target. I volunteered all my life. And I know who volunteers and I know who doesn't. I can smell it. I've never seen anyone who looks like the Man of Swords volunteer at any of the hundreds and probably, I don't know if I can say thousands. That seems like a lot. I need to calculate, but I've been volunteering since I was in sixth grade. And it wasn't to put on my, I didn't even put it on my resume, right? Like most people volunteered to put on, my friend volunteered and he won some like volunteering award. And I was like, dude, I volunteer like three times as much as you. He's like, yeah, but I, but. <laughs> do good for good sake, not for recognition. Because if you do good, you will understand who's, for instance, who the blank would volunteer 
the in law school to fix people's houses in very very crime ridden areas during spring break, right before finals, right when people are studying for finals. And the answer was my friend who owned who opened a law firm and who's now actively helping people in these concentration camps connect with their families, buy plane tickets, figure out their legal status. She does not get paid. So yeah, you can talk about it, but I don't give two blanks about what you talk about. If you really care, do something. And I invite the Manosaurs. I invite Tolarian Community College. I'll pay for your plane tickets. I'll put you guys up in my house. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Are you going to do it? Blood, sweat, and tears. That is the price you pay for chains. Bye.